guys welcome back to a brand new video i don't know why i've put you down here i just feel like it's a little bit more chill so today's video is going to be a reflections on 2022 and a positive outlook for 2023 this is the vision board i made last year i'm a thousand percent gonna do this again um a little bit late because i haven't even prepped for it but i didn't finish this till like june last year so i'm gonna be a lot quicker on it this year just wanted to go through the things that i've actually achieved so i did go on holiday this year i went to turkey so i did the plane i went to london twice twice with tara it was complete by accident both times i was meant to go with my uncle um i need to put that on my list london with neil I was meant to go with Neil, he got flu, so Tara came with me. And then I was meant to go with my sister, she cancelled, so Tara came with me. We want more trips to London this year. We went on the train to London as well with my family to Leo and Chloe's gender reveal. I did buy a watch, I didn't get Apple in the end, I got the new Fitbit. I kind of wish I'd splash out a little bit more and got the an Apple one so everything was connected but never mind it might be something I look into in crystals I didn't really bother so that is definitely on my list for next year I got the Apple AirPods and I also did buy the Velvetizer as well so them two are quite I'm quite happy with them purchases I did read the Harry Potter books so so proud that I read them I only read nine books last year which is less than half of the year before so i really want to read 20 books next year but i'm so proud that i finally read them i made a little book snug haven't actually used it for that purpose lauren always sits there and amber sits there but i never actually sit there to read i was lucky enough to actually save some money this year i did give blood once this year so i want to do that more next year um I didn't buy a bag and I don't know if that is something I want to do now actually. Um, I try to drink two, three litres of water a day, however it does go up and down. When my mental health is good, I drink my water, I go to the gym, I exercise, I eat healthy. When it plummets, everything goes to pot. So that is something I want to work on next year. Um, I did get a new tattoo, I got my holiday one with me and Tara and the slow cooker I've used at least every week in November and December, but I wanna see if I can use it more regularly in the whole year, not just at winter time. I did do Race for Life in May with Lauren Amber, and that was fantastic. I'm definitely signing up again next year, like this year, that's really weird. Um, I didn't go horse riding, so that is definitely on my list. I love having this on the wall, and it gives me something to look at, something to focus on, and i love the little quotes all around it although i don't really look at them i look at the things of oh i need to focus on this i need to do i still want to buy this the places that i visited this year that was on here birmingham me and amber went for a weekend in birmingham manchester i went to see end of Tara, so that was just fantastic um i went to leeds twice i had two weekends in leeds with tara and the girls we went so that was another place ticked off my list there's a long list of places i want to go next year so from this i've made a little list of things of what to do next year so these are all ideas for my new vision board that i will be making um horse riding anyone know where i can go horse riding in norwich can i just say the light shining down makes my roots look greasy they're not i washed them last night but and now i'm just worrying that my hair looks greasy anyway crystal healing learn more about crystals so definitely i put handbag with a question mark i don't know if i want to buy a designer handbag like i'm quite happy with the handbags i've got um and my collection mostly primark but that's okay like do i need a designer handbag probably not and that just shows that me a year ago and it me now want two different things um places that i'd love to visit brighton sheffield liverpool Nottingham, Peterborough, Ipswich, Milton Keynes, Bury St Edmunds, York, Felixstowe. They're just places I've never been and I'd love to tick off. I also weirdly have a list of food places on my phone um, where I want to go and visit and I have ticked off so many this year. I know TGI's was on there, um, Five Guys was on there, Ed's for breakfast, I've ticked them off. Um, Harriet's Tea Room, I went with Lauren at the, nearly at the beginning of the year, February, I think we went there. 
so that's so many places but i know there's still a few places on there that i want to go to like there's um a tea rooms really close to us i really want to go with amber so maybe we can go for my birthday so yeah i will make lists and that will all go on my vision board but things that i definitely want to do more next year i want to be consistent with my water with my exercise i have just downloaded couch to 5k i'm in my gym clothes it's the first of january i'm gonna go for a run i'm gonna do day one week one of couch to 5k i completed it i'd say beginning a lockdown um but this is going to force me out give me the motivation and it's not going to be like so big i know i've done catch 5k i know i can do it um and it'll be just slowly ease myself back into it I want to give blood more next year so i need it once this year um and i think you can injure every three months and if you've had a tattoo or piercings it's about a three month wait so I did book it just before Christmas, ended up couldn't do it, booked it after Christmas, ended up can't do it. So I need to book that in um, for January. I'll book that in now today so I can get the ball rolling on that because I love doing that. That is something that gives me so much pleasure. I would like to save a thousand pounds. That doesn't sound like a lot to some people, but I've given myself the goal to save a thousand pound. I would love to go and see a show in London. I really want to see Annie in Norwich, Theatre Royal, but I want to go see one in London. I love Greece. I love Dirty Dancing. I love Annie. I love Waitress. There's so many, um, but I would, that's one goal for this year. I'd like to start traveling alone. I'm quite dependent on my friends, family doing things with me. I never really do anything by myself. And when I have to, the anxiety is very high so i'd like to travel anywhere on my own for the day um i'd love to get on a plane next year i don't think i can do a summer holiday because i've got two different things happening in august um so i don't have i don't think i have the time frame to go on holiday in the summer but there's a lot of city breaks i'd like to go on i'd just like to get on an airplane and go on holiday in 2023 i want to use my rail card i've used it a few times in leeds but that's it so far so i definitely want to use that i want to do race for life again i'm not sure if i'll do the muddy version that was so much fun it was annoying at times <laughs> so i don't know if i'll just try and do the normal race for life i can't remember how much i raised but i definitely got a like letter to say how much i raised which is something i'm so proud of so i definitely want to do that again stay over in london i want to be more consistent on youtube so as of today, I've got 13 videos pre-recorded and up and ready. They haven't got a thumbnail, so I need to do that. Um, I want to do at least two videos every single week. Be more consistent on there and try and gain the followers. Um, that's never been something that I care about, the numbers. Um, but I am proud of my YouTube channel and I do enjoy it. Hence why I'm sat here talking to a camera right now. Um, like I said, drink two free litres a day. Read 20 books this year. I have had this bookmark in here for probably three weeks. I'm on chapter two. So I definitely need to up my game um, this year. I only read nine, which to be fair... That's really bad considering the Harry Potters were seven books. So I only read two others. That doesn't make sense. I don't know if I've got that right. I think that might be wrong. And like I say, I want to go to London with Neil. This is my last year in my 20s. I will be 29 in January. And this is something I have feared for at least four years now. Four or five years. I don't want to hit 30. I am so scared to hit 30 years old. So I want to work on that. I want to find out, do some work on myself. Why don't I want to hit 30? What is the main cause for this anxiety? And what can I do to relieve it really? So I've started making a list of things I want to do before I'm 30. 30 things before 30. And I think there's three things on there. There's not a lot. Learn to drive, see a show in London, travel somewhere alone. They're kind of the same things. And I want to start 
my teeth journey and that isn't something I haven't put anywhere I haven't really spoken about it um, but I would like to do Invisalign or that kind of thing um, I will obviously film the process but this is the year I want to do it so it could end up being quite a spenny year if I want to do driving and get my teeth sorted um, but yeah I think that's it I know I'm gonna come away and start thinking like oh I should have said this but obviously from now in the next few weeks I'm gonna be writing lists getting photos ready and definitely do a vision board again because this has helped so much I see it every single day when getting ready it's near my dressing table and it just gives me the boost that I need daily so so yeah I'm definitely gonna do that again so um that's probably it for now I was gonna film a Primark call but I need to go for this run and I don't want anything else to get in the way um it's probably raining the weather has been miserable recently but I have got my headphones out I'm gonna go do my first couch to 5k again and I will see you guys later for another video bye